four days ago, I applied for dismissal from the international company where I worked for two years. And in this video, I'll share what 9 to 5 office job in a foreign country taught me. Hi, my name is Alexandra. I'm a scientist in the field of philosophy and religious studies. I also develop as a mindset coach who helps people live happier lives and achieve a new level of results with ease and satisfaction. So, two years ago, circumstances forced me to change my country of residence. All this time, I lived and integrated into a Lithuanian culture. Here, I got my first serious experience of office work in a large energy company. In this video, I want to share my experience and tell you why I made final decision to quit. The first important lesson is to never betray your values. I understand that it's important not to look for a cool and profitable job, but a job that will match your main life values. Both a lawyer and a dentist are cool, profitable jobs. But should you go for this job only because it's profitable? The job should match your values. An important value for me is freedom. I like to travel, follow my inner feelings and walk without forcing myself. Such a forced burden for me is an office workplace and 9 to 5 office schedule. When each new day resembles the previous one and all you can look at during the day are grey walls. When you give 8 hours of your only life each day to your employer that doesn't help you to unlock your true potential. I, for my part, try to bring small joys into my day, taking my favorite food with me, as well as spending lunch breaks on walks in the nearby park. There are small lakes near the office where even swans can walk along the road. And in the spring, you can watch cherry and lotus blossoms. What inspired me the most every day was that I walked this road home. And in addition to beautiful views, it's a good option to help my body with activity. But later, our lunch break was reduced to 30 minutes a day. And at the same time, the amount of work and psychological tension increased. While working, I could only distract myself with a view from the window which also overlook the nearby business center or the outlet near my desk. Nice memories from my 20s. Or I could take a tea break and listen to my colleagues who wish they could have a smoke. In my opinion, it's absolutely obvious that none of us can work effectively for eight hours. Such a strategy only demotivates. What's more, Britain's biggest money-saving brand found that an average UK office worker can be productive for only 2 hours, 53 minutes during a working day. Where does the rest of the time go? 32 minutes. Office workers spend every day preparing hot drinks, hidden food and snacks. At least 23 minutes between work tasks goes for a smoke break and another 65 minutes for reading the news. And that's not all. 98 minutes every day goes to conversations with colleagues, online communication with a partner or friends, scrolling socials, and 26 minutes to search for a new job. How do you like this? daily statistics from the research. What did they experience like in your office? It matched what I saw every day at my job. And every day I kept choosing to go back there again 
Therefore, the next lesson is to be bolder in life. Deciding to stay in an office job every day, I agreed to clip my wins. Such wins for me are the exploration of the new countries, a change of residence, and new beautiful experiences. Although in these two years I still visited 10 countries, because traveling is something that already flows in my blood. But I'll be honest, vacation only a few times a year, when before that you need to teach your colleagues your work tasks for a couple of weeks and worrying that next Monday a plane will be waiting for you as well as returning back to the office. Not such a pleasure. Write in the comments how it's in your office, but my employer allowed me to work remotely only two days a week. At the same time, I should also ask my manager to agree on these two days. And for all eight hours working from home, you should also be connected by having an online status in Teams. Although this time can be spent more productively and with inspiration to close your work affairs for two hours in a row in the morning or in the evening after a good day, instead of stretching them for eight hours and previously mentioned statistics. And in general, I'm the kind of person for whom it's critical to change activities during the day. It's hard for me to concentrate on something even for three hours. I get much better concentration when I take short breaks once an hour, cook, go for walks, discover new places, or meet with interesting people. It's like a second breath is opening in me. Here, I like the experience of countries like the Netherlands, where the average working week can be 29 hours. In the Netherlands, citizens now have the right to go part-time in their job unless there is a substantial business reason justifying why they cannot. As a result, workers in the Netherlands have the shortest average working week in the world. Now you know where to move. <laughs> or at least face your fears. Don't delay a quitting and look for a job that best fulfills what's important to you. Of course, another important lesson for me is my salary level. The final thing for me was that the company doesn't know how to adequately evaluate its employees. They wanted to change my position to data analyst, which requires learning programming and should be evaluated according to the vacancies in the labor market. Our company has decided to use us apparently as slaves and fools who will agree to perform new tasks for the old payment. Nice decision. I don't consider myself as a clown, so I decided to leave the circus in time. In these two years, I gained enough self-confidence to see my own worth. I was able to see my strengths and implement them in practice. And my skills are definitely worth more than salary the employer wanted to keep. I learn quickly, I organize information well, I know how to explain complex things to people in simple words. These skills reaffirm to me that now I'm on the right path. I use all these skills plus my energy as possible in my own lectures. Recently, I launched my first practical lecture about inner energy, about what non-obvious factors are currently taking away our internal resource and hindering financial realization and healthy relationships. 
And I really want to sell this lecture to each and every one of you right now because I'm sure that no matter what point you are at right now, this is exactly what you need to hear. I don't believe in coincidences. If life has brought you here, you need this information. And the lecture already has excellent feedback from first viewers. That's for you. I really appreciate you sharing your stories. If you are hearing about my lecture for the first time, under this video in the description, I'll leave a link to the site where you can read about it. If you listen to me, you like my experience, but you lack the courage and strength to follow your dreams, I sincerely recommend that you watch it. My lecture is completely practical. For every piece of information I share, I share the practice that will help you to put this information into practice and start implementing and seeing these changes in your life immediately. I send you my positive waves and frankly invite you to my powerful lecture. Don't put your better life for later. My last little lesson, if you are also a foreigner looking for a job in a new country, I advise you to work in a multicultural environment. In the office where I worked, all my colleagues except me were Lithuanian. And during these uh, two years, I never managed to integrate fully into their community. It also affected my perception of myself and the team, so keep that in mind. And the main lesson of these two years is to follow my heart. I am passionate about the science. I am passionate about sharing my thoughts and experiences with people. Life is one. Listen to the fire of your ideas. It should be stronger than any fears in your head. I don't have a backup plan right now, but I believe in beauty of the potential of each of us. And I believe in mine and your ability to develop towards our dreams. Cultivate a sense of self-pride. Don't waste years of your life especially considering everything I said. Thanks for watching! I'm waiting for your thoughts and stories and see you at the lecture!